Hey everybody. I'm still trying to get over a disappointment that we had just two days ago. But let me share it with you and give you an update on how the bees are doing. So there I was here in the garden putting on a little bit of bone meal trying to make sure that the tubers come up nice and plump. And right about here I heard a jet airplane overhead. And so I looked up and the sky was just full of bees everywhere just buzzing like the whole world was coming to an end and then i noticed over on this cedar tree a bundle of bees and i got so excited and i yelled over and said jennifer quick get our bee stuff and she ran off to go get our uh, jackets and the bucket to capture them in and in less than a minute I found out that the reason all those bees were swarming above head was because the swarm ball was already on its way out and they flew off somewhere out into the woods. So that's my horror story. We had a swarm and missed it. Didn't realize they were up there in the top of that cedar tree. Could have caught them. I've got a bucket with a really long pole. I could have done the bee bayou shotgun method. I could have sent my daughter up there and she'd have cut them out of the tree if I asked her to. She's crazy like that. Uh, could have got them. No question in my mind we would have captured that swarm. Uh, but just came out at the wrong time. It was probably 4 o'clock in the afternoon. They were probably up there all day. The scouts found somewhere to go. And they went off in the woods someplace. Now, just in case they had found some place that was very close by, we actually went and looked. Uh, we walked through the woods in the direction it seemed like they flew and spent about a half an hour out there quietly listening for buzzing, trying to look up in the trees, even looked over at the uh, neighbor's pasture and see if maybe they had decided to make a nest in one of his pieces of equipment like a old trailer he's got out there. But all that was for naught. We couldn't find them. Chances are they went a couple miles out. But the good news is they're still here. It certainly wasn't an absconding. Uh, I have not gone in here yet. I'm going to give it a few days and let the new queen make her virgin flights and come back in and start working. And we'll check the hive after that. These other two boxes, uh, those are just there waiting for a phone call, waiting for someone to say they've got a swarm for us to come capture. So that, that's all they are. That's all they're doing over there. And this is a little experiment on a bee waterer. Uh, we've been using this for years, for the last couple years. And uh, every once in a while you'll see a bee on the edge of it. But I think they found natural sources of water. There's a bit of a seasonal creek bed down at the very bottom of the ravine in the woods there. Uh, as well as the culvert down by the driveway. And I think that's where they're getting their water from because they don't really come over this way very much. But I saw this on Facebook and I wanted to give it a try. So if it works out and uh, I ever actually see bees feeding on it, I'll show you guys how I went about doing it. Never a dull moment. So I've been stung one time since we've been keeping bees and it was through my bee suit. I had uh, pulled my suit taut bending over and a bee got me through the suit. I sit out here all the time on that chair uh, that's tipped over right now so that it doesn't collect rainwater and watch the bees all the five feet away. Brandon's out here watching me shoot videos and he gets stung in the hand. <sighs> that poor kid, he can't win, I swear. Well, anyway, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed an update on the bees. Uh, with any luck, in a few weeks, uh, the Chinese privet should come in and that is when nectar production is really going to ramp up. Uh, so we're excited to see how things are going. I really, really, really wanted to have a couple more hives set up before the privet came into bloom. But apparently, I don't know the right people and I'm not getting the phone calls uh, for all of the uh, swarms that are available around here. So I'm just going to be patient. I missed my own swarm. I'm so mad about that. But oh well, things will be all right. We'll still get honey one way or another. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time.